Hello, hello, hello. Hey, Cindy, if you're still here, hello. Some Cursed Crew. It's a new game that just launched. Early access. If you are... If you are a RimWorld person at all, and in into the modding scene, this is at least partially made by some of the guys from the Vanilla Expanded team. Oscar and someone else, I think. <laughs> um, so, you know, it's got a... It has a bit of a lineage. I haven't played it at all yet, so we'll be learning together. Hopefully the audio level is okay. I can adjust it. Just gotta let me know if it turns out that the audio is no good. Let's try and get into a new game and see how this works. Hey, Phil. Alright, looks like the only option we have right now is the Royal Courier Ship. A medium vessel was originally designed for swift trade and valuable goods. Swift trade for... Of valuable goods across vast distances. I can read articles. After the ship was forcefully switched from captain, it was refitted for piracy. Its high speed makes it an excellent vessel for boarding. Okay. Top speed is 7 knots. Hull amount is 90. Got two harpoon cannons and two grape shot cannons. <laughs> Appreciate that. Oh, there are other ones. Never mind. I thought that this, I thought this was the option for next another different ship. These are the ones. There's the, the Carrick, large ship designed for war. Plenty of room for cannons. Not the fastest. The Cog, the Ram, is a sturdy Cog class ship that can take a punch. Harbors plenty of space for mortars and cannons and well fortified back castle. And that we have to defeat a boss. Apparently, let's just go with the Caravel because I don't know what I'm doing yet. Ship name. The Cromulent Archer. Customize my flag. Anything looks like an arrow? Mm, not really. There was a big triangle. Big triangles kind of look like... There we go. <laughs> patterns? Apparently the patterns are not in yet. Um, this game is in early access, so it uh, it will... Um, there, some things might not be there. Oh, we've got dudes. Different kinds of hats. Kind of, like, kind of a don't starve look to it. Ben's Beanie. Let's wear Ben's Beanie. I like Ben's Beanie. Yeah, it's a good look. There's Justine. Those different face shapes. Yeah, whatever. Um, I don't think I'm going to spend too much time fiddling with this right now. Captain Justine, I guess. Day one, the journey begins. Captain Just Yar, Captain Justine's log. My memory falters. To be frank, I'm uncertain of, of the circumstances that brought me aboard this ship. A sudden flash is all I remember of the night before. I checked the ship's stores in the morning and found... This is our decision. Um, let's get crew. No, the voice definitely won't last. <laughs> Check the ship's stores... Join the ranks to the day. Welcome, Newcomb, to the to the crew. Seems like having an extra person is probably good. Okay, so I've got direct control over this person. WASD. Click on select an object by left clicking on them and interact with a uh, jobs order. Right click. Select a crew. Okay. Yes, it good. So you. Oh, I've got more people. I I thought I didn't have anybody, or else I probably wouldn't have. Uh, Focused on getting another person. I thought. <laughs> okay, we got 
food. Fabric, wood, cannonballs, wood, a pistol. Why don't you get that pistol? There you go. Metal. That's silver. I wanted to see if there's anything in the back of the ship. Duke Nukem. <laughs> ha! Alright, can I give you a jump? No, that's just telling you to drop something. Morale. So we've got a map. Oh, what did I just do? All right, apparently we're going to a place now. Let's go to this question mark. This is the crew. Rations, bed rest. Construction. Build stuff, okay. Stockpiles can be placed to keep inventory organized. Designators used to forbid and unpack, deconstruct, okay. We have a crafting bench, a smithy, a stove. Let's, um, okay. let's go look, oh, I wanna go downstairs. <laughs> hey, Mitchell. How's it going? Um, let's get a crafting bench. Oh, this person's on it. Who are you? That's Nukem. Okay. Designation crew. Smithy. Seems like having a smithy on a boat would be a little tricky. Stove. Sleeping spot. Hammocks. Oh, we should probably make some hammocks for people. Well, we can hot bunk it. Everyone can have their own. Everyone can share one. Oh, okay. Day one. Floating crate. Our outlook spotted a large wooden crate floating adrift in the waves. As I peered through my spyglass, an abrupt sh shake caught my eye. Something was alive in there, trapped in the sea. Uh, take it aboard and open it. Got 28 fish. Who doesn't love fish? What is this? Set course. Oh, okay, so we get some time. I shouldn't have clicked on that. Can I go back? No. Oh, so we get, some, we get some time between, like, having to choose things. I got it. This bit is kind of like FTL or Slay the Spire, where you should choose, you know, your movement through various places. Spyglass, let me use when the ship is sighted, okay. Set ship to combat, maneuvers, crew. Strip deck, deconstruct, forbid, prioritize, toggle. We're learning, what is this? Basic cannon. Okay, let's unpack that. Put it, put another cannon here. So you know what, let's put it right where, where it is. coming to do it we're uh, we're very dim we're very uh, democratic crew here this is the everybody can share all right so what do I do with you select recipes rope bandages reinforced planks bombs oh something is happening hostile ship well let's attack it Gotta learn how to fight. They appear to have a single cannon. So I think we'll be better off. Enemy ship's position is shown on the navigational map. You can catch glimpses of the ship and the crew through the spyglass by pressing or by pressing C or clicking the icon. Okay. Order your crew to man the cannons when you're ready to engage. Give commands to helmsmen to direct the ship on the map. Align your field of view so you, the, your crew can open fire. The enemy ship is within boarding distance, denoted by a circle. It will appear nearby. You can flee combat by reaching the edge of the map. Okay. 
Alright, everybody go. Everyone. Crew. Um. Pause. Hang on. Crew. How do I tell you all to go to to to, to combat? <laughs> Designation. Strip deck. Deconstruct. Prioritize. That guy's got a bomb. Ben. And that cannon. Go there. <laughs> Hold your ground? No, that's not what I want. Leave your post. No. Nope. I'm confused. I'm confused. Stratford, go there. Engelbert, go there. Prioritize that cannon. I can't help but notice that this doesn't seem to be working. And the selected object, there you go. Alright, I think I got it now. Y you. Go there. You. Maybe eat. Oop, where are you going? There you go. Alright, yeah, crew on the cannons. Now I gotta figure out how to drive this thing. Maneuvers. Uh, steady now. Let's turn this way. Yep, that's a boat, alright. <laughs> Right, looks like we're already going at maximum speed, so I can't do anything there. Um, you... Stop what you're doing. Go, go do something sales-wise. I think that's a, a thing that's going to be helpful. Maybe. I don't know. We're almost within our firing arc. Maybe if I turn a little bit more, the firing arc will come. I wonder if she'll shoot by herself on her own. Their, their one cannon that they have is on the wrong side of their ship, so it should be good. Are you going to fire? There you go. Hey, we hit him. Oh, yep. Yeah. Got load cannons, I remember that. <laughs> Oops, no, ah, I'm, I had the wrong thing. All right, I'll do it. I'll do it myself. How do you, how do you, how do you steer when you're doing it yourself? Apparently not with the, with the arrow keys. When a ship is close, hey Jet, ship is close, the icon will appear approaching, all right. Command your crew to begin boarding and the enemy ship alongside, they will toss grappling hooks. So can we, man, can we board? Nope, um, we appear to be stopped, uh, you. Go over there. Hey, go there.
Hey. <laughs> I'm finding the I'm finding these controls to be clunky. Go interact. Oh, apparently we're shooting at them now. Oh, there they are. Start boarding. Wait, why are we not there? There we go. Okay. Uh, I guess that didn't work. Bye. <laughs> I don't know why I can only turn to the right right now. There we go. Okay. Um... <laughs> yeah, I'm not driving. They're driving. What's your good news, Jet? Oh, man, that cannon. I don't know why they just stand there. You. Man the cannon. It says, yes, Captain, and then he just stands there. What about, what about this one? You gonna do that one? We got an arc. We got a firing arc here. Nobody's gonna shoot because you're not doing the thing I want you to do. Well. Oh, so much of that. Good jet. Hey, you guys want to get down from the sails? We could get down here and get on cannons, please. Yes, thank you. As we're slower now because I don't have these people on on their, sh their on their things, but I think we'll be okay. Yeah, the, the arts like don't starve. The um, the gameplay's more like like FTL so far. All right, steady on from here. Should get some shots here in a second. If I if I'm remembering which side of the boat is which properly, <laughs> which I'm not sure I am. Hey, get on that. Get on that. Actually, that's not the right. That's not the side of the boat that I thought I was on. Hey, why is nobody? You make me man that. Oh, you are on that cannon. Okay, we'll get back on that cannon. <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> Oh, now we're in, in, potentially in grappling range. Get him. Grapple. Start boarding. Alright, so how do I do it? Start boarding. Oh, start boarding. I don't understand. <laughs> I connect, like, I get them all connected, but then they don't do anything. Yeah. 
I don't know. Yeah, there must be. The, you're right. There must be a command that I'm missing. Well, we're back on this map now. faster while I'm trying to figure this out. You, why are you not... <laughs> we just passed through the firing arc and that guy did nothing. Finn. Woo, a shark. Well, there's how you man the different cannons. Okay, I can manually tell them to fire, apparently. They'll just, just shoot. Okay. At least I understand that a little bit better now. No, nope, here, we are, like, ramming speed right now. <laughs> Oops, I didn't mean to go down the stairs. All right, grapple it. Oh, now they're trying to grapple us. Grapple it. Come on, guys. Why are you just standing there? Do a thing. Um, uh, speed down. There's clearly a command I'm missing here. Oh, there we go. How do I attack? <laughs> now I'm now I'm missing something. Two? Did I have to hit the number two? You threw in a bomb on our own ship. Come on, man. Oh, now you're gonna tell me how this works. Weapons must be equipped. Alright, yes. Hold space. Okay. Or you can parry with Q. Hold space. Okay. Oh, oh, it's twitchy. Hey, we won! How do I get over there? I want to go over there. There you go. All right. Is there anything interesting? Ooh, a barrel. Gunpowder. So there was a there was a thing I saw earlier. Okay. Set course. I don't want to set. I, I want to strip this place. What? How do we? How do we take the things? All right. Give me a pause here a second. No, I don't, no, don't, don't do that. Those are cannons. It said something about, yeah, stockpiles. Let's do a, if I throw a, like a, nope, not that big. I threw like a two by two stockpile like right here. 
allow all? Will they then take the stuff from the neighborhood ship and move it? Nope, something is happening. Alright, I don't know. <laughs> After a ranged battle, there was a sudden silence wins crew of victory. The ship now unguarded. We looted her from stem to stern. Okay, apparently they just... Just do it on their own. Okay. Question mark it is. The world view. Oh, there's like... After we get through all of this, there's more stuff. Okay, I see. There's also a, uh, this is where the camp, this is the captain's place, right? Right here. Alright, so we got some stuff. We should probably keep some cannonballs up here. So if I... If we do like a... 1 by 2 stockpile right there... And then I make this. They like place for cannonballs. Pause, please. They're all cannonballs. In theory, they'll come down here and grab them and put them in the, the thingy. I mean, they're not in a in another storage right now. They're just lying on the ground. Um, can you guys? How do I tell them to get off the cannons? Stop! Stop! Oh, we need to go. Wasn't there like a there was like a combat mode before? Wasn't there? Stop. You guys need to get back to work. There we go. Alright. I, I, my opinion so far is that the controls are kind of clunky. But at least they're starting to make sense. <laughs> it's, it's taking a little bit of time, but I'm getting there. Floating chest. Let's take it aboard and open it up. Oh, it blew up. That's that seems bad. Um, I can't help but notice that my crew doesn't seem to. There we go. I was say you guys need to prioritize extinguishing fires a little bit more. It looks like. Not a huge fan of this timer, this like forced timer to move on to the next thing. If I like tell you to, if I like bring the ship to a halt, but will that timer keep going? Nobody's nobody's driving the boat. It's fine. All right, they're starting to bring the cannonballs up. Uh, ship or ship? Um, if we go this way, we've got ships. I don't know what that this uh, anchors for, so let's let's find out. Well, apparently, there's also islands. Oh, 
I look like the answer is yes. Since nobody's driving the boat, we're not going anywhere. So, so that's a thing. Some sleeping spots down just in case people need to want to get a little nap but the hammocks are full I don't know I wonder if our character needs to sleep do you need to sleep apparently the answer is yes Can I make a smithy Kind of see what the different things are. Um, not my ration. Are you not hungry? Yeah. There we go. Forced plank. <clears throat> yeah, I feel like having those cannonballs up here make things a little easier so that we don't have to, you know run down below decks to get a new new cannonball every time. As soon as this is done and I can see take a look at what the um what the construction options are here, we'll uh we'll move on to the next area. I just want to see what the what's going on here. Cannonballs, refined metal, mechanical parts. Okay. Yo ho ho. I guess we have to just get to the edge of the map here. I don't entirely know, understand how this is, how it decides when we're going to the next thing. There it goes. Yeah, I guess it's just the edge of the map. Uh, we can trade or dismiss. Let's trade. Wood, metal, fabric, copper. <laughs> the deal -o meter Okay, so this is kind of like, so what is it? I don't know if it's still this way, but there used to be Stellaris used to have a thing kind of like this. They don't really have much that I really care about. Alright, that's fine. I need to trade with them. Um, sure. Let's attack the next hostile fleet. These people, they've got three little cannons. I don't know. It's a good question. I know there is a Kraken potentially to be killed. But I don't know much about it other than that. Fire. 
Oh, we hit him. What are you what are you shooting at? Um, it's actually probably better if we keep the, the double cannons um, positioned towards them. Let's try and spin this way. Alright, just go straight ahead from here. I guess those last two shots didn't hit anything. Just barely, just barely staying. Oh, we're starting to gain on him. A little bit there. Oh, oh, we hit him. Yeah, look at that. Good shots. It looked like it hit, but it didn't do any damage. Alright, let me slow down a little bit. Oh yeah, something is on fire, you're right. It's probably, I mean, resource-wise, it's probably better to board them, I would guess. But, a little more fun. <laughs> one more shot, one more hit and they're dead. Or not, apparently. There we go. We got him. <laughs> Abandoned ship. Wonder if we can bring them on board. Apparently not. That seems like something they should, uh... Leave the cannons. Seems like something they should add to the game. Being able to to get the crew of the other ship out of the water and uh, what what is the press? What's the what's the pirate term for forcing somebody to be part of your crew? Press gang. There you As a howler from Atlantis sinks into the depths, the crew emptied the triumphant, erupted in triumphant tears. Emboldened by your victory over this adversary, we sailed onward towards destination. Before she slipped between the waves, we a bit of wreckage broke off. We managed to gather it. We got 28 gunpowder, 17 metal, one harpoon cannon, and six copper. So we did get something from it. It's probably not as good as when you, uh... You know, when you... Take them hostage or whatever. All right, that's you. I can't interact. There it is. Interact. Nope. Oh, there it is. Unpack. Um, I guess put that right there.
should probably have them make... I guess just leaving hard attack on the ground. Um, I should probably make some... Whoop. Hang on. Pirate Haven. The crew showed signs of relief as we approached the harbor after securing the Crumulant Archer to the wharf. We disembarked. Um, let's visit the tavern. Into the dimly lit tavern center. We can trade. We can hire a crew. We can buy a round of drinks. I'm not actually sure we have any copper. We have six copper. Okay. Really want any of this? All right, don't need any of that. Old man approached us. The stench assaulted our nose. Then he asked if he would stay a moment and listen to his tale. Sure. The old man shared a story of wondrous island beyond the reaches of civilization. He scribbled the location on our map. All right, visit the shipyard. Well, I can't afford to repair the ship. What do you have to sell? Planks, rope. Take like ten metal. Give me some wood. All right, this is the undermarket. Grocer. We got some f fish, some hard tack. I think we need any food. Yeah, they're all they're all rocking um, melee weapons right now. I think. Give me a flintlock. Chain cannon, fire cannon. I guess that this is probably more than. Worth more than we can actually afford. Yeah, there's no way. Swivel cannon? That'd be nice to have. Oh, and we can afford it too. This wooden club. I don't really want the wooden club. Yeah, I don't think we can really afford a whole bunch right now, though. I'll just get the swivel cannon. Alright, leave port. Ooh, oh, there's the, there's the secret island that he just told us about. That's a nice touch, I like that. Um, what was I gonna do? Oh, we should probably put the cannon somewhere. towards the front. Okay, so I need reinforced planks in order to repair that the rest of the way. So we got that 5%. Sailing in a thunderstorm, I'm sure this is fine. <laughs> Alright, we'll go here. Ship flood level? Oh, that seems bad. Alright, 
Can we just just move on? Next thing, please. Go in here, get out of the rain. <laughs> Oh, we're... Okay. I see. Shrouded Seed, the Maw. So... I assume there'll be, like, a... Boss at the end of the line here? Guess we'll find out. Floating in, spotted by a ship near the horizon and an unusual vessel. The only way of protection we drew near it. Opulent features with noticeable. So we could trade with them. Just have grog and wine. We could just rob them. Try and stay the night. We don't have that much copper. Um, I think I'm just going to skip this. Mostly because I just want to go to the fancy island. So, <laughs> that's the main reason I was get, wanted to skip it. This weather sucks. Poor, uh, poor what's his face up here all by himself. Oh, hello. That seems bad. <laughs> he got hit by lightning, I guess. Day two, beach. We stopped at the foot. Uh, we stepped foot onto shore. A lush jungle towering above us. I don't know. That's a good question. Scavenge for resources. Explore the island. Explore the beach. Set up camp. Um, scavenge for resources. Gather wood. Under ninety wood. Okay. Okay. Apparently that was the that was the only option we had. I thought we were gonna be able to have more than one option there, but. Not so much, I guess. All right, can you um, stop doing that? I think we should all just just take a little break, have a little downtime here in the basement. Let's build a let's build a brazier to make it a little bit brighter in here. I'm getting drowsy. Oh, okay. Oh, I have to choose, but I don't think it'll make us go yet. They took all this. They took all the places to sleep. Jerks. I'll sleep here. Nobody seems to care about eating without a table in this game, so that's something. As long as the storm's gonna last.
Maybe it's breaking up, or is it just because the sun just coming up? Unknown ship. Their intentions unclear. I peered through my spyglass, but was unable to catch a glimpse of their flag. Let's pull alongside. With ships aligned, their captain stepped into the open. They're told with these waters, pay your duties, or be sent to Davy Jones's locker. Well, I don't have 141 coffers, so I'm going to have to refuse that. To arms on me! Um, this... I've already forgotten how this works. <laughs> Where are the bad guys? Well, I won. I'm not sure I hit anything. But my team did okay. I was trying to hold space. It didn't seem like it was working. Oh, there it goes. I just had to hold it longer. I see now. I was pressing it and nothing was happening. I guess he was reloading. I wasn't pressing the button fat. I was getting impatient. One musket, 15 wood, 23 copper. Okay. Well, we're gonna know how this ends soon. Also ship. Well, of course we're going to attack it. Dude, they even have... They don't even... They have a harpoon cannon? They don't even have actual cannons? Oh, no, they do have... They've got a like, grape shot cannon, I think is what that is. Never mind. Um, Alright, I need my... Starboard side mans. Uh, where are the others? Ben. There you go. Whoa! Hello. How do they- they must, oh, that thing must have a much wider firing arc than the others. Um, can you guys please just get on the cannons? Why are we not- why are we not manning these cannons? You. Man the cannon. Oh, you guys are repairing. It's fine. Yeah, that grape shot thing must have a much wider uh, firing arc than our other stuff. I need to get around the other side of them. I suppose is the answer. They hit them? They out of range? Don't seem to be hitting them, regardless. Oh, no, that hit. Okay. <clears throat> they must not have any more cannonballs, because they're, <laughs> they're not shooting. Why 
is nobody interacting with this? What is wrong with this cannon? Why does nobody want to use this one? No nearby target. Oh, it's out of range, I guess? I feel like the game doesn't communicate um, ranges very well. <laughs> that one. Yeah, it could be. Like, there's no, there's nothing here. Uh, this is the boarding range, but there's like, there's no lines here to indicate how far my cannons can shoot. But clearly the, the swivel cannon is much shorter range, I, I guess, because they're not using it. I mean, the harpoons are shorter range, so that makes sense. Oh, yeah, they're shooting their grape shot thing now. Right, get, get in the sails, I need to go faster. You need to get around the other side of them. Oh, they missed. Not sure if I'm winning or not. Just <laughs> a little bit faster. bad shot on their part. Alright, I think the only way I'm potentially going to get to the other side of them is if I just really, like, beeline. Because we're doing, like, a slow circle around each other right now. Winning-ish. <laughs> If I were to slow down, well, I don't know really how to control. I guess do it there, there. Yeah. So straight ahead from here. Oh, we're in the grappling range. So if I go two, and then I can go like this. Come on, reload. There you go. All right, let's go. Go get him. Um, I need my people down from the sails, please. Gravel. Gravel. Oh. 
Stab, stab him. I'm supposed to be able to parry, but I don't really understand how that works. Hey, we did it. <laughs> A little rough, but we, we managed it. I still don't know how we sometimes- sometimes they jump onto the other ship, and sometimes they don't. I really don't know why. Oh, it was a mortar. It wasn't a- it wasn't a grape shot, it was a mortar. Okay. Good to know. Slow moving cannonballs at high angles for re re reliably hitting top deck. Three cannonballs, three cannonballs, three silver, one double barrel flintlock schematic. Ooh, schematics. 22 gunpowder. I didn't get to keep the mortar? That doesn't seem fair. <laughs> um, let's make some, oop. Let's make some reinforced planks so we can do, like, do some proper, uh, just proper repairs. Hey, you. Stop that. Apparently I'm very hungry, it says. <laughs> Eat some fish. So, it says not my ration. Does that mean I have to... have to, to say that... rations. New ration zero, save. All right. Here, everybody eat whatever they want. <laughs> it does look like he's seen some shit. It's crazy out there, man. All right, you know what? Give me that. I want that musket. Here. You. Take that. Or apparently don't. Engelbert. Yeah, whatever. You people are weird. Let's see if we can do some actual repairs here. Now that we have the materials for it. Is that all? That's all we have. Okay, that's fine. We can go with that. All right, let's hit the let's hit the 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 wide open oceans. It's a pirate haven. Okay. Um, is it the shipyard? I can't do this, right? Okay. Apparently, I can. <laughs> I don't know what I paid with because I don't think I had that, but um. Fine. You know, give me, give me two hearty meals. Oh, I can gamble. 
Not that much. Wait, do I have a do I still have silver? Looks like a uh, silver. Twenty. Okay. Gamble. A few silvers. After a few games, I managed to win back a little extra. I gained one silver. Okay. <laughs> That's it. They won't let me gamble forever. Um, I don't really seem to control the NPCs so much. I just seem to, like, tell them to go places. Yeah, the, uh, I find the interface to be a little clunky at the moment. Um, hopefully that gets cleaned up after a while, because this is... It's not terrible, but it's certainly not the best. I guess I'm going to the Wailing Waters next. Oh, there's a boss. Next one. I can't return? What, what, what are we doing here? I'm stuck. <laughs> I can't. I can't go back. Oh, I have to choose from here. Okay, that's what the problem is. Um, let's go... what do we see? Let's go this way. I was looking to see if there's a... if there was any way to, to mess with the UI, but apparently not, not yet. At some point in the future, probably. <clears throat> now the local map, the local map is this one. The world view gives the big the big picture. But so but you've got like, you know, these are ship encounters. These are like ports, I think. There's islands to do island stuff at and the question marks are could be anything. It's right here, yeah. Mystery, unknown ship, island, harbor, shipwreck. This floating crate thing seems to keep coming up. I'm gonna just keep bringing them aboard. Oh, there's a person in there. <laughs> Desperate cries for help was echoed from within. To our astonishment, someone had been packed inside and tossed overboard. Welcome Rosetta aboard. Hello, Rosetta. Let's just go this way. <laughs> yeah, look at you. Look at that. Look at Rosetta. R? R? R indeed. Um, what can I do with you? Schematics. Oh, recipe for double barreled footlong learned. Is that here? Yes. We need components, or whatever that is. Should probably make some bandages. It seems like something that's probably important, or will be at some point in the future. Oh, you already had a better thing. Never mind. Rosetta, I'm, I'm sorry. You had a... You, uh, never mind. You can go to sleep. <laughs> I'll go to sleep, too. She had a better better gun than I thought, just sitting there in her inventory. <clears throat> I suppose we could go ahead and make some more... Uh, 
hammocks at this point, huh? How many crew do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. So there's three. Hammocks for everybody. Adrift at sea. We spot our ship adrift along the waves, its crew out of sight. Let's pull alongside. <laughs> Hiding behind the mast was a crouched, emaciated man, lips pursed from severe lack of water. He'd been out here for some time, stranded at the mercy of the sea. His sails have been damaged. We could repair his sails, or we could offer him safe passage. Or we could leave him. Let's give him safe passage. All right. Well, now we got another person. <laughs> oh, oh no! There's that's his home island. He's gonna be with us till we go there. Milford, hello, Milford. So you know what? Let's go to the port. Uh, I haven't seen it yet, but who knows. This is game is just just launched in early access, so I'm I'm sure their ambitions are much um, higher than the little we've seen so far. What was that? Silver. Oh. I can't really I can't directly control Milford. It looks like. Newcom, get that. I think we might be low on food, so if we, when we get to this next stop, I'm going to try and buy some. Alright, visit the undermarket, visit the grocer. Oh, we got 66 hardtack. Never mind, we're fine. 27 fish. Yeah. Forget that. A hand cannon? I'm not gonna spend the money we really don't have, though. I will buy a few cannonballs. Alright. Well, let's... A go. Maybe, yeah. I don't know. They, they seem to come and go too fast to really mess with those, so I don't know. <clears throat> I don't think you really can see how much money exactly you have. You just kind of have to figure it out. And we have, we have, uh, six, three, we got nine gold, copper pieces and eleven silver pieces, plus whatever the uh, rest of our stuff is worth. Apparently we don't have enough to build all these, it's like. Attack that ship! What kind of pirates would we be if we didn't choose to face the threat head on? They've got some sort of weird cannon and a regular cannon. I don't know what that is. Try and not um, show that side to the to everybody, because I don't really want to deal with that cannon.
We appear to not be hitting them very well right now. <laughs> but if they want to get close enough for us to, to, uh... You, um, hey, you? Get on that cannon. I still can't seem to get anybody to actually use the swivel cannon. I don't know why that's being so so difficult, but maybe it's only used during boardings. We haven't really had a proper boarding since then. Hey. We're hitting them, but we're not really doing any damage. We're damaging their sails. Okay, I see. It, it maybe it does. I don't know. Um, yeah, let me get that, please. Let's see if we can get them in uh, boarding range. Oh, that seemed bad. Whatever that was. This should get us into boring boarding range here. Just a moment. Ooh, that's not good. Somebody fire people fire. That's a that is our stockpile. There is <laughs> there is uh, gunpowder there, so that's not good. Um, you guys want to? Really? You're still shooting the cannon at us? There we go. Oh yeah, okay, so it is the small, um... Dead. Enemy crew down. We did it. That one was rough, but we managed to pull it off. We lost a. We lost all that gunpowder. <laughs> I still don't know how we get how you get over to the other ship. We did it that one time. And not sense. I don't, I don't know how that works. But. Oh, I don't know what I did, but I but we're here. There's nothing in the hold. Okay. We don't. It, it, apparently, it's not allowed to just take their stuff. What? So what is this thing? A hook cannon. Only works at sh for hooking enemy ships. Okay. Forty cereal, one flintlock, nine silver, four copper. Okay. Let's go to the question mark. We got to go question mark question mark ship fishing village. That's what we have to do here. Engelbert almost died. <laughs> His health is very low. Yeah, it's probably some sort of balancing thing, I would guess. <laughs> Get some leashes. <laughs> Apparently he just has to sleep it off. It's not like he's just, just sleeping it off. It's 
hard to get some le hard to get leeches at sea though. Some a reef dead ahead. As far as we can see, it's a sight to behold. I wonder what the possible advantage of going through is versus going around. It's almost certainly a bad idea, but I'm gonna go through just because I don't understand what. Uh, Current pay the road to catch the of Brian and Reese. Fishing vessel. Oh, hello. A fishing vessel. Can I have some fish? I need 20 fish. Or. Uh, copper seems to be too slow. Eight silver. All right. Yeah, there is morale, but I don't really know exactly. See, it's got morale. Negative 100. Uh, 66.8 out of 100. Negative 1 an hour. Status effects hungry. It's lowering their movement speed. I don't really know what happens when, uh, really, when things happen. Not only am I hungry, I am starving. Is Strafford on the thing here? Strafford? Oh. That's Nukem. I said Strafford looked like- oh, he's just hurt. Okay. Looked like he was hungry, so it's like, go eat. Everybody can eat. New Ration Zero, everyone eats whatever they feel like. So it looks like you can specialize if you set up new roles there, but I don't, I don't want to mess with that <laughs> right now. <laughs> fish yield plus 25%. So yes, there apparently is a fishing option somewhere. Hang on, pause this, pause this game. That's the map. How gather food and firefight save edit fish question mark <laughs> um Newcomb no Engelbert your role is now Where is it? Where do I set your role? Oh, here. Fish question mark. Let's see if they fish now that if that's the only option that they have. But there doesn't seem to be. See th this stuff here. This deconstruct strip deck forbid stuff. This looks like we could probably take. It looks like we should be able to take another ship apart. But it never seems to not be. Oh, it's for our own stuff. Okay, that's probably it. Well, next time we get a ship, I'm going to try and do that again and see if it works. Oh, there's fish. Fishing spot. Wait. Huh? Oh, yes. Fish from right there. No, it's, it's actually the, the guys from uh, RimWorld's... Vanilla expanded. That's that's who did has done most of this. Who, who are like the lead devs on this? So yes, there's the fishing question. Whoever was asking about that earlier. Where did I see that? Where did I get that from? Oh, right there. Stove. Central cooking up variety of recipes. Uh, we should build a stove. Why not? I'll take it aboard. We got six bombs. <laughs> Luckily, they didn't explode. Here, build me a stove. I don't know how to tell when he's being successful, but. There you go. 
Hey, it's not a dumb question. I wouldn't have probably investigated the whole fishing thing if you hadn't said something. You know, so you can actually kick it over when you're wandering up and down. They just just cooking right away, huh? Slop. Oh, he's making slop. Sounds good. Mmm. Slop. What's not to love there? I don't know. I was trying to tell in the last battles if there was a chance for friendly fire, but it was very hard <laughs> to tell. Cannon. Another one of those things, so it looks like we want to be on, we want to try to get them on this side of the ship. Because that other thing is only a... Let's go this way. So right now their, their cannon side is facing towards us. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do anything about that. It doesn't actually seem to be that I can do do a whole lot to change that. Um, for the moment, everyone get in, the, get in the things. I need some speed. That's not good. And the cannons. Probably. Also, just probably just later into the thing, the further further in you get. That was a big hit. Coming straight at them, it's hard for them. It looks like it's hard for them to take a, um, to get a, a bead. Well, apparently not that hard. <clears throat> we are almost dead, <laughs> by the way. Here at ten. Um, somebody want to come down, down out of the mast and put those fires out, please. This may be the end. Okay, they they missed. They get it. Oh, we we have we're gotten a little bit of health back here. I need to get them in in uh, boarding ranger. We're gonna be host. We're like so close to. I can just go straight fed. Let's get let's try and get out of this firing arc here. Oh, there we go. Our ship is sinking. What do we do now? We just we just die. I guess we just die. And we're dead. <laughs> uh, it went better than I actually kind of went better than I thought it was going to for our first um, 
adventure there. Alright, so that was interesting. I think I might jump back over- I think we might jump back to Project Zomboid though, because I'm not sure there's enough meat on this to keep it going for another hour and a half. What do y'all think? Extorting people? I'm not extorting anyone. Just killing them and ripping them off. <laughs> Yeah, I, I like it too. I think it's it's got uh, it's got a good look to it. I, I I think it'll be once it gets cooked a little bit more. I think it'll be in a good 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 shape. Swivel gun, swivel gun, mortar, mortar. Okay. Alright, I've never actually changed a, a game in the middle of um, a YouTube a YouTube live stream before, so let me see, let me adjust things here. Start. Project Zomboid. Play. Edit. Spit. Project Zomboid with Thoughts, oh, odds. Yeah, yeah, getting used to the interface will definitely help. And also just the game getting a little bit more, a little more going on. Alright. Work my way through all of my... This is the one? No. Oh, this is the one? This is the one. Okay. <laughs> Got a, like, a lot of half-finished um, games <laughs> sitting on the load list there. Yeah, it just seemed like, for right now, it seemed like there wasn't quite enough. Like, that, we got that, what, that crate, bring a crate aboard thing, like, f five times, four or five times in that run of that one run there. So it just needs a little bit, needs a little few more things put in, which is, you know, part of the early access process. I totally understand. I'm kind of, I have to, to, uh, at least to polish to the nail salon. I honestly am kind of surprised that the, that the, because of who these guys are, that they weren't making a game that was closer to RimWorld in scope. It's kind of what I, I honestly thought Curse Crew was going to be more like that before I spent, looked a little closer at the game. Um, but I guess they figure RimWorld's already got that area stamped out. There's more space to play with in the, uh, in the FTL-like area. Yeah. Also, I imagine, you know, the, the, the itch to work on a RimWorld-style game is probably taken up by the fact that they, you know, they make the vanilla expanded mods, so they basically do work on the a RimWorld-style game all the time. They work on RimWorld.
Yeah, th this uh, this save takes a while to load every every time. Uh, every time we load it up. Also, the dog goes here. Doing what dogs do best, snoozing. <laughs> Oh, that's that's not Daphne, that's Penny. Daphne is uh on the mantelpiece. <laughs> She's on the mantel in the other room. This is a continuation of that really heavily modded run we were doing for a while. I apparently have holes in my clothes. Sorry, was that was that too dark? <laughs> All right, it's eight forty in the morning. I should remember what we were up to in this particular playthrough. I think we're working on this town. I don't remember what this town is called, but we're working on it, whatever it was. All right, is there anything I don't need to carry? No, that we're we're not super well established. No, this is relatively early still. We what happened was at, we started we had a stream where we we were looting a bunch of houses over here, and couldn't find a backpack for forever. Finally found one. There's like a sledgehammer in this house, which is why I have that marked. Then we came this direction, and worked our way down and around, over to here. I found a car, and I was driving it around, and then I got it stuck somewhere. Um... And had to abandon it. I don't remember, probably like at this corner would be my guess. Yeah, we got a little Daphne shrine too. It's, it's got um, her ashes, and a picture, and her collar. And, um, a little lock of her hair that the people cut off for us. Whoops, left the door open. Where did I put the actual food? It was here? Yes. It's true, there are some runs that end that way. Alright, give me this can of sardines. What can I do with this? In this mod pack, huh? We can make the salvaged club. Scrap club. Apparently we can reuse the can. Seems weird, but okay. So not useless. That's the important part. All right. Is this functional? I feel like this was... Yes, this was functional, but it was terrifying. <laughs> I remember now. This is the... Vehicle that works, but I'm really scared I'm gonna kill myself. Let's clean up the area a little bit. Sand 
Apex is about to break. Honestly, it looks like both of my weapons are about to break. Do I have a replacement for either of these? Yes, I have this. Okay. Alright, crappy axe, you get- nope, no, that's the good one. Nope, it, it, yeah, uh, nope, there we go. There's the bad one. Put that away. <laughs> Salvage machete, I haven't tried using it all yet. Let's fight for this corner. There's these these cars I haven't had a chance to check yet. Um, they could definitely potentially have something useful in them. gasoline you have. I'll take it. Apparently was not much. Lockpick with a crowbar. <laughs> not sure that's exactly lockpicking, but... Oh, that's close. I wonder how many times I have to do this. Oh, that's not. I guess it's just I just get, get to keep doing it pretty much as long as I want. It's like... Do I get attacked from behind while I'm messing with it? I guess is probably the issue. There we go. We're in. Peaches. I don't really understand why the chef's knife has a yellow blade. What what day are we on? Day eight. There might still be. Or if there's TV at this point or not. Oh, apparently yes. Yeah. So this should do like uh, this and then uh, probably the carpentry show or we might be in the area where the 
TV messed up where there's not like a middle of the day show. One, two, three. Yeah, the, the, there's not a day show. Okay. This like hearse type vehicle actually looks like it's in pretty good shape. Yeah, this car's in good shape. A full gas tank. Ghostbusters! But I need it, need it. Cigarette time. I can't decide. Speaking of Ghostbusters, I can't decide what I think of the um, the new Ghostbusters movie that's coming out. I was relatively unimpressed with the uh, the last one. It wasn't terrible, but it was. I have the option to use the crowbar before, but it seems to have disappeared on me. Yeah, screw it. Oh, no key. <laughs> I can only be bothered for so long. Yeah, I mean, most of them are, but, you know, it's, it's the safe money. But, you know, I don't really mind. If you do a good job with it, it doesn't really bother me. <laughs> but the problem is that most of them don't really do a good job with it. Well, there's a key. Drive this if I want to. Apparently this car doesn't actually work. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, I want to. I want to check out that Shogun series. I saw the adver advertisements for it. All right, let's just let's work on this area. Yeah, I keep I keep meaning to try that show out too. I uh I like the I like all the actors involved in that the Mr. and Mrs. Smith show. But I just haven't taken the time to actually watch it. <laughs> yeah, I like Donald Glover. I like uh what's her name? Maya Erskine. Erskine. So So, all of these are going to be locked. Can I crow? Can I pick these? Lock pick with crowbar. Okay. 
I can. Oh, this one, this one is uh, a lot tougher, it looks like. <laughs> myself out. This is a stressful thing to do in front of you guys, by the way. <laughs> it's like, I want to be good at it, but I'm like, uh, I guess. One more. Probably doesn't even really matter where we are on this next one. There we go. Hey, generator. Threads. Uh, now I need some zombies to lure, lure in here. <laughs> I know, this is one of those things that it's like, I feel like I, I, I want to... I want you guys to think I'm good at it. <laughs> even though it's just kind of like... Not a skill that would really matter. Alright, I need to find some zombies and move them in here so I can get a key from one of them. Because I don't want to have to do that with every single one of the things that we just passed. Hungy. We're a hungy boy. I don't understand why I seem to be get, getting the, like, clothes ripping sound effect for going through a window that I've cleared. Oh, come on. Don't do that. So what of our what of, what of our clothing has been getting ripped here? Pants, desert combat boots have a tiny little bit of a damage. Shirt's pretty rough. Sweater's okay. Gloves are shot. I think I have an extra pair of gloves at the house because I feel like I saved a pair of gloves after the last time we found upgrades. Try to remember that. Rest here. Any other zombies around? Wanna come help me out? Give me a key. <laughs> it isn't if I don't want it to be. I'm not famous enough for anybody to be archiving this. <laughs> I can just take that video down and no one would ever know. Hope there's not one of the mods that's changing the behavior here. 
It'd be kind of funny if I was trying to do this and they, the, one of the mods is stopping the keys from spawning in zombies this way. I really should have done this to one of the ones closer to the the front of the building. Two, ooh, you look like you've got some fancy clothes on there. You I'm gonna need to kill without uh, the blade, I think. Oh good, she got stuck. That makes this easier. He looks like he's wearing some of the same stuff I'm wearing, but the, the desert version, which would probably be less uh, insulating. Yeah, it's that same mod pack from last week. Yeah, look at all that. Winter jacket, that's not something I want. Capri pants. Weirdly enough, I can fit that in the strap around my middle part of my body. <laughs> hey, come here. Alright, it, it, if it doesn't work with this zombie, I'm just gonna stop one worrying about it right now, because... It ain't gonna happen, and it's getting late-ish. Yeah, there we go. That's more like it. Thank you, Key. Um, I did see on Reddit that the, the guy who made this mod pack, who was here last week, um, has updated it. Obviously, I don't... Whoops. I didn't check, but I don't think that it, uh, you know, I could... I could use the same game with the updated mod pack, so I didn't do anything with the update, but uh, it is it is a thing it is out there. I also don't know what they changed. I didn't, didn't look that closely, to be honest, but... Just want to make everybody aware. This is like one of those ones that someone's living in. Assume it's not for this. No. Bad shape. It's turning out that I put in a lot of work for a bunch of places that don't have anything useful in them. <laughs> Fluffy foot the bunny? Oh, well, that makes it all worthwhile right there. We just we just got the thing for.
can't imagine there's gonna be much here that I care about. We'll look. And some junk and sharp turns everywhere. Okay. I probably won't be going there anytime soon anyways, but <laughs> appreciate the heads up. It seems to be all halfway across the, the world from us. So I don't actually know if I have a sauce. I'm gonna take that. What do you mean, Sean? I'm kidding. I don't know what. Did I ab abandon a character? Or did he die? <laughs> oh, ah! Look at you, that's a big old backpack. Yeah, a turtle. This man looks like a turtle. Giant Alice pack. I don't remember ever when naming Zomboid characters after uh, patrons. I'm not. Don't disagree with you. Um, I'm sure you're probably right, but I, just for whatever reason, I have no memory of doing that. <laughs> Well, regardless, that that save is probably not compatible anymore, I guess. Um, do you want to meet... Rad, are you referring to where do I live currently, or where am I from? Because those are... Two different answers. <laughs> I never heard the word embiggen until I moved for, to Springfield. I don't know why, it's a perfectly crumulent word. Um. I currently live in upstate New York. A uh, for a pretty sizable distance from the city. From New York City. It's not easy for me to get there. Um, and I moved around a lot as a child. But I did most of my... Well, I guess I did all of my high school years. In... The Del in the Delaware area, Wilmington, Delaware area, so those are the two answers to those questions. Am I still a Leo? What you mean by that? Am I a lion? <gasps> oh, I, I've never worked. I've never worked in law enforcement. <laughs> so the answer is no. I'm not still one, and I have never have been one. <laughs> Are you thinking of uh, ghoul? Uh, um, I'm blanking on his name all of a sudden. Another you there's another YouTuber that's a paramedic who was in the army who does zomboid stuff. Ghoul King, that's the name. I don't know why I had trouble remembering that name for a second. But no, I'm not I'm not now, never I have been a cop.
Um, well, I talk about shifts because I work in I work in news. I work in the in the TV news industry, so it makes me have weird uh, times. <laughs> so we probably talked about shifts. That's probably true, but it was not with the, from the angle of law enforcement. Um, somebody else might have been in the in chat that was in law enforcement. Who was also talking about it? I don't know. But no, I work in I work in television news behind the scenes, which causes me to get up very early in the morning. Oh, I'm glad you enjoyed it, Red. I am I am decidedly not cut out for law enforcement. <laughs> no, this is also a thing that I've never done. <laughs> you were com uh, I guess you're combining me with somebody else. I don't know who it would have been, but But no, I have never ridden a motorcycle. <laughs> I've ridden like a dirt bike before, but I've never ridden a, like a proper motorcycle. Mm, bacon. I actually have bacon in the refrigerator right now. I'm gonna make some bacon as part of my dinner tonight. But yes, to the law enforcement point I was about to say, I'm decidedly not cut out for law enforcement. I, uh,. I am kind of lazy, and I don't like to deal with people, and law enforcement, from my perspective, maybe you might disagree, but from my perspective, law enforcement is just like the worst, uh, the, the worst customer service job that ever existed, because <laughs> every, everyone is mad at you all the time. Hey, no worries, Sean. It happens. I wouldn't feel. Don't feel bad about it. We all get a little confu confused. Bunch of, you know, us YouTubers are a bunch of faceless people on on the internet, so it's easy to get us mixed up. All right, let's put this here. Need this. Apparently these capri pants are worse than what we're wearing. Swap these boots. Yeah, I'm well I'm, yeah, I know my face is out there, but it's like I'm g generally faceless in the sense that like you don't look at my face very often. <laughs> hey, it gives us something to talk about. All right, I guess I'll wear these like military thigh and elbow pads and stuff. I don't think I'm gonna wear the bulletproof vest though. That I'm going to leave behind. I'll draw a line somewhere. You're just here for Benny. <laughs> it's good. It's a good call. <laughs> you thought I was. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I, yes, I, I am the sleeping dog. I should probably go to bed considering it's midnight. Plus one sprinting. Oh, wrong room. Your fluffy foot. Oh, it's the same one. Uh, I mean, it's nice. Fluffy foot now has. There's now two fluffy foots, but 
That's less exciting. Thought I was making a collection. <laughs> Twin sister has arrived. Yeah. Alright, this axe is busted, so I'll leave that behind. Getting a very, very tactical look going on today. Tactical Mohawk. Yeah, that's the that's the Fallout Raider aesthetic right there. <laughs> Random military gear plus Mohawk. I need something to something a little more substantial to eat here. Let's open our jar of carrots. We'll eat a bunch of carrots. We've rescued a couple of bunny rabbits. Let's let's do our own bunny rabbit impression and eat a whole bunch of carrots. Oh, the water's out. I forgot. Mm, yeah. Keep that in mind. Yeah, what's up, Doc? Right, let me add the very small amount of gasoline I have to this. I think I hit siphon the first time. It's okay. Got it the second time. It's true. Like there should be. It's like a fairly obvious one. All right. I wonder what these two buildings are on either side of me. Hey, come here. Hey! I mean, you can't already siphon from one car to another, sort of. You have to have a... something to put it in, and you just sort of back and forth. Not really exactly the same thing, but yeah. Or or a bottle. These days you can do it with just a bottle. Of course, that's kind of slow because the you know bottles don't hold a lot. But Outside. Is 
What's that? Is that chicken? Mmm, stale fried chicken. Yum, yum. Hey, where'd you go? <laughs> Broke the window and immediately walked to the next window. Not even gonna- oh, there you are. <laughs> it's like, you're not even gonna come in? Zombie just really loves smashing windows. good books on their shelves. <laughs> Somebody's not getting a lot of work done. We've got Axe Battler for the game gear on their shelf at work. Let's go into the factory proper and see what it is they make here. Locker rooms. Um, what am I wearing? I needed a new shirt, right? Denim. Keep an eye out for a denim shirt. Oh, that's a new pair of welding gloves. I wonder if you need, in this mod pack, if you need welding gloves for welding. I mean, because you don't really need them, but... You kind of want to have them in the real world? It's not like, you know, eye protection where you basically have to have it. <laughs> But also your hands would get all zapped. It's no fun. Oh, hello. You can tell I know a lot about welding from the, the, the very technical things that I was saying about it just now. <laughs> This guy, we should ask this guy. I'm sure he knows a lot about welding. Welding gloves aren't as stiff as work gloves? I would have guessed the opposite if somebody was asking me. I really would have thought that uh, welding gloves would be very stiff, but I guess they're just to keep uh, embers from hitting you, right? So It's another military guy with a giant backpack. Stay down. That was a good joke, Sam. 
Good job. <laughs> Camping hatchet. I learned something today. Ooh, 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 my boy. My boy, the pickaxe. Happy to see you, friend. How's it going? My favorite. My horde destroyer right there. Done with this place, more or less. There's definitely some stuff that we didn't actually, you know, interface with, but it's hard to hard to get into all, some of those without moving a bunch of other crates out of the way, which is just a pain. And I don't want to do that. Ain't nobody got time for that. I see a. Pretty well... Ambulance looks like it's in pretty good shape. Maybe. Oh boy, a sheet of paper. Just what I needed. Yeah, maybe not as good a shape as I thought. What's that say? A&S Trading Company? Does not say ass trading company, which is what I definitely thought it said at first. <laughs> yeah, not really, really actually very good shape. Moon is at 21%. E. Seems like a good place to have a smoke. Two zombies, come here. Find any door that's working here. Maybe upstairs. Did I do that? Did it just give me the you rip something sound when I was <laughs> climbing a ladder? That's that's kind of ridiculous. If I ripped, if I damaged my clothing climbing a ladder.
There's gonna be much I'm gonna find in any of these. I'm not gonna stress over searching every one of these random office rooms. No oh, pizza in the pizza box. Wow! <laughs> oh god! <laughs> You got me, Zomboid. You got me. Good job. A bunch of very quiet zombies standing right behind the door. Crates down there. Anybody else in here? No? Workman shirt. Oh, I need a denim shirt. Door somewhere that's about to give away. Starting to make the extremely broken sound effects. Oh, excuse me. Don't want to die on the stairs. Don't want to die on the stairs. Down from up here. I don't see any. Don't see any uh, easy passages, at least. while I eat this banana. Ooh, gross noise, gross noise. Ninety and falling. I need to not eat that ice cream. So, up above, there was... Give me this scrap metal. There was a computer that said Tinker with electronics, and it said needed scrap metal. Take that scrap metal upstairs and see how that works. I assume it's some it's working electronic skill, but... Pickaxe, don't start falling apart on me already. We just met.
Well, they're certainly having no shortage of axes on this in this particular run. It's too often I take the axe man trait and then we don't get any axes for the entire playthrough. So at least that's not happening this time. Be coming. You like a man devil? I'm I'm feeling very tactical. I'm not 100% sure we have a hammer, so I'm going to take that. <laughs> Where you think you're going? I think it's kind of funny in Zomboid that like one of the most useful things that you would ever have you could ever get and probably would never really have enough of it in um, a real situation like this is rope but in uh, in Zomboid there's just not that much call for rope Trying to use the mouse wheel more. Hope you guys appreciate it. It's taking a lot of concentration on my part. <laughs> Thanks, Jay. Apparently I need a lot of validation today. I mean you don't have to in Zomboid, you just tow vehicles without without rope. What is this building? It's an 89 Geo Tracker. Is it in any uh, decent shape or no? 51% engines at 35%. Oh, no, thank you. Auto, auto tsar k back. Don't know what that means. Apparently, it is gasoline storage because it's got two hundred and forty three, two hundred and forty three storage available. Is 
This building next to me looks almost like a prison, but I don't know why you would have a prison in the middle of a town. Oh, with like the guard tower thing going on over here. And the complete lack of exterior windows. Yeah, but they usually put them at least, like, a little outside of town, right? They don't usually put them in the city. Or, or maybe they don't, I don't know. <laughs> well, there's a bunch of police officers, so... It's definitely a prison. I suppose it could be a jail, right? It took me a long time to understand the difference between a jail and a prison. I mean, I understood the concept as soon as it was explained to me. It's not that complicated. But it took me a long time to know that there was a difference between a jail and a prison. That's a more appropriate way to say it. Not that I was confused about the actual distinction. Zombies. Oh. I am playing Elden Ring right now on my own time, man, so. <laughs> I've been seeing a fair amount of jails. Spelled J A G A O L. Gowl. Yes, hiding behind the. Whoa! <laughs> Attacked the wrong spot there. This is the very high security of this place. <laughs> Let's just go through the window. Upstairs. I don't want to go upstairs right now. Man, look at all you guys. Press Pauldron Defenders. Oh, they go on my shoulders. They apparently go over what I already had on my shoulders? Military Pauldrons, Press Pauldrons. It seems like they shouldn't both be on my... Shouldn't be both be there. That seems like a mistake. Go 
over. There seems to be a door here that I can't actually go through. <laughs> okay. You guys broken in yet? Yeah. Ooh, there's a bunch out there. I'm gonna come help this man break a door down. One of you is going to give me a key. Yeah, I'll come back. You guys let me know when you're ready. There you go. Yeah, you can do it. brought me a key, which is very mean. There's the denim shirt I'm looking for, but I damaged it when I attacked that person. Here's the key. Thanks. I really should find like a cell or something to sleep in. Where I saw a zombie for a second. It's been my imagination. <laughs> Sleep in the ambulance. Eh, that's probably a good idea. Uh, some a number of zombies in the holding cell. Oh, I fell over. Run, run. Oops. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure what happened there, but uh, it, it happened, whatever it was. <laughs> um, it's early, but I don't think I want to start another run right now, so I think I might close the stream up. Um, for now, we'll start a new new run next week. Give me some time to think if I want to do this mod pack again or not. Or maybe the updated version. But yeah, so so I think I'm going to close up eh, 15 minutes early. Thanks for coming out, everybody. Hope you had a good time. Let's check out the Cursed Crew, which was interesting. A little Zomboid. Nice little variety. Um, I'm working on a new Zomboid video right now. It's, uh, it's a work in progress. Hopefully it'll be done next several days we'll see i don't know thanks for joining me i'll see you guys later this is the supermarket so the uh the next try at the supermarket again <laughs>